Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two of our Mage Ascension game, Chantry House of Baltimore. As you can see, beginning announcements, we're down a player. Uh, Sage will not be joining us this evening. He has life um, to do things, so he will not be here, but we have the rest of our players here. Um, I believe... Last time, not too much happened. Everyone got to basically was introduced to each other, got to the house, realized that the house was old and might need some little TLC in the next several months. So, um, let's see, trying to think anything else interesting happened other than getting to know each other, ordering Thai food, I think it was. Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, character we met a couple people. We met, um, Dan, right? Yep. Yeah, Dan stopped by, said hello. Yep. Dan said hi. And um, I think there was someone else that was. Uh, Dan and Walter. Yes, Walter. Yeah, Walter was a guy that was there first. Yeah. Walter showed you around. Dan came and gave you some doobie snacks. And um, yeah, and I believe, uh, hey, everyone. Um, so yeah, so let us uh, begin, unless there's any other interesting beginning announcements that I'm missing. No? All yeah. right. Then I have to get to the magical time. No, not feeling this so? Okay. Oh, Shatner, <laughs> sorry. We're not allowed to do time magic. You can if you have the time sphere. Um, then I'm, I'm allowed then. Oh hey, uh, I am fix all your allowed. watches. We will start the game now. Um, <clears throat> so we will begin. Um, let's say two days after the initial everyone meeting. So not much time has kind of passed. Um, in the time, I would say, unless you have other things to do, maybe someone could have exchanged some of the hard currency for some things you could actually use um maybe set up a business bank account or just put in someone's thing or just take cash i mean yeah i was gonna say probably out of everybody i think i'm probably the one of the better me or probably holly are the better set up ones for that regard mm -hmm. can you <laughs> imagine what would have happened if Wanya walked into like a fucking bank with just a fucking gold bar you shouldn't take the gold to the bank. You you sell the gold and put the money in the bank. With it. She'd use it as a new baseball bat. <laughs> Anya <laughs> walks up. Pretty heavy. So uh, that would work. I don't have accent. I got some gold for my grandfather. I need to exchange. Um. <laughs> she is German. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. So. I'm so reminded, sorry, I was reminded of Jesse yesterday, we were having, uh, Jesse's like, it's a really good thing you and Hera have a good relationship <laughs> with each other. <laughs> yeah. Jesse being a player in other games that people in this mm -hmm. group have played in. I don't think he's appeared on anything in our channel. He's been in no. a few one-shots, but now that yeah, I maybe about it, I don't know if... No, Night of the Museum, I believe. Recorded. Yeah, I think he might have been in the Night of the Museum one. Mongolia or something like that. Mango uh, yeah. yeah. For From those Magnolia? wondering. Yeah, I think that was the name of his character or something. He, I don't remember. Check out it and he's probably in there. So yeah, at home. Hey. Um anyway, um, a little off topic there. Uh so you exchange some of that. Uh you start getting calls in to get the permits and people come out to check and do inspections because if you want to do everything up and up and kind of legally, you need that stuff in the city, especially in the area you're at, which is a historical area. So they are a little bit more stringent on what can and can't be modified and built. Um, <clears throat> as they want to keep the historical uh, aesthetic of the three blocks. Um, so um, I'll also say at this time, because I believe you had wanted to tow um Wonya's house to the front of that your house or the back and we by tow the house the I mean it's a car mm -hmm. so what kind of car were you living in was it like a nice like 
It was something bigger than a Prius, like something like uh, Winnebago. You know. It and it it was a uh, an old shitty car that she got from an old woman who now lives on a boat. <laughs> it was a piece of shit car. All right. <clears throat> So we're begin- I don't know some old shitty American car. I don't no know such American thing. Car. <laughs> All American you don't have to say you don't have to say shitty. You could just say old American car. Oh, Thank you. There's a lot of really good American. No, no, no. Cars. I thought they like all all American cars are shitty, so they like none of them are because they're all shitty. Yeah, some it's the, it's the complete reverse thing of like if everyone's super nobody is right <laughs> so it's the complete opposite of that if everyone's shitty nobody is so obviously you're in the house and stuff and as you are yeah you know, kind of just sitting around and stuff you do hear a knock on the door do we have the uh door ca- the door cam set up yet no Okay, that's yeah, the other guys. Yeah. I'm assuming probably I, I either me oh. or Holly are. Gonna, I'm gonna be. Gonna, I live right by the door. That's the room I've claimed is mine. We will have the, to install yeah. it. It's a thing I haven't gotten around to yet. I will go answer the door if uh, Amaryllis hasn't gotten to it yet. Go open door and you see a oh. 40 ish year old woman sitting there. She's like, Are you the owner? Uh, one of them. Yeah. Can I help? One you? of them. Yeah. There's a unsightly thing in your backyard. Uh, how long is it going to be there? Because you know, we did this neighborhood has certain standards and that car in the back does not match that standard. Right. Um, the thing is, though, like, it's in the backyard, which is only a bit viewable from the, like, the alley. I don't really see how it's a problem. People walk the dogs up and down the alley and see stuff. I just feel the property values droppings with that abomination in there. I'm sure it'll be fine. We have a higher standard. If you want to live like the people in Pigtown, you can go down to Pigtown and live like that. But we here have higher standards. <laughs> am I also, right? am, am I home currently? Well, your home is in the backyard. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think that's you... part of the problem. <laughs> that is the problem. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're, you, unless you got something else to be everyone that is here except okay. for Sage's character who's off doing cop shit. Um, yeah. I do come to the door and I just ask her very confrontationally, is there a problem here? I'm talking <laughs> to your mom. <laughs> um one moment I want to I want to point out that um I have I have the uh, physically impressive, which gives me like an automatic like uh, bonus to intimidate. I have an intimidating presence. She, like she said, she wants to talk to your. She's talking to your mom. Yeah, there's a ugly car in the back that should not be there. It looks like it's broken down. It's been there without moving. I will have to see the city out and chalk. We're fixing a it up. Day. All right. It's on private property, so it it's can't been be a, chalked. Uh, and I, I will have someone chalk it. I will call the, my councilman. You can call and, whoever you want. It's on private property, and that's where it's going to stay. Thank you. And, it's been lovely uh, meeting. And you are not allowed to do main do work unauthorized because you're not a business in the backyard. Lady, I think Emerilus rolls out here and says, "Work." You what was that about not a business? It, this is residential. You're not allowed to have a business at this location. You can send it's it to a, a shop. Business. We're doing something private here. Also, piss off. You are allowed to work on your vehicle on <laughs> private property. You don't. You're not required to be a mechanic to do work on your own vehicle. You, it is. 
with the amount of work that thing needs, it's a business. There's no way you're fixing up that thing with Sam, a get out of basic before business. I call the cops. You're invading our private property. Please leave. I am not on your private property. I am not on the she lives. Find out who she is. You're on our They're front closing thing, which is part of our thing. On her Goodbye. face. Um, bait before you close the door. Oh, Honey, nope. just like we're done talking, and she just uh, she doesn't close the door. I've had she enough of your disingenuous assertions. No, no, she <laughs> just slams the door. Sarah, shut. like I said, I've had enough of your your disingenuous assertions. Bam. There's no talking here anymore. What a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of that probably. Yeah, good. Oh, I was hoping wait. somebody would slap somebody. Arrows just says, just wait till I start playing music. And yes, yeah, so when we should, we should make a list of people we, we should hex uh, in the neighborhood. Last thing we want no. is that. I don't know. Some of these people need maybe some humility in their lives. No. There's no teaching them humility. Yeah, they'll... Believe me. Oh, it'll just blow up in your face. Honestly, it usually just makes it worse. Uh, they don't necessarily blame you because they're too stupid to realize it, but they just spiral and get worse. Because they're like, oh, my life sucks now. Now I have to take it out even more on the people around me. Yeah. Yeah, I've tried it. It doesn't work. I mean, we could then sell the solution to, you know, lift their bad luck. I'm pretty sure these people are pretty susceptible to stuff like that. There's some good money here. So I hear you, but also we should be very careful about, like, revealing the whole enlightened oh. magic thing to also i'm really smirks to ro- and you also have to have a business license for that remember <laughs> <laughs> there is not a um there isn't a neighborhood in downtown in in the the general area that's more policed than this one because it's a very 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 wealthy area so. yeah I mean, wouldn't that mean it's kind of less policed? You would think, but it's also right next to a bunch of areas that get a ton of protests. So, hmm, okay. Also, also rich the people want to protect their stuff. Also, police headquarters is like six blocks that way. Yeah. 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 Uh, Quant has been out back and... fixing the car during all of this. That's what he's been up to. <laughs> nice. So, Q, you're out back. You just hear someone go. <clears throat> Did she just walk around back to go harass him? Oh, that'd be funny. Uh, I'll slide out from under the car one of those little wheel things and look up at whoever this is. You see a guy wearing skinny teen, uh, skinny jeans, uh, plaid, kind of like the man, man bun with a drink. He's like, Hey, buddy, I'm your uh, neighbor right there. Okay. How's it going? Okay, slides back okay. under car. Yeah. Have you, you seen this man? No, he's not holding a mojito. That's a natty bow, 100%. <laughs> it's either a natty bow or some like stupid expensive. No, hold on, hold on. No, I, I'll, I see your thing and one up you one thing. It's a natty hito. <laughs> I don't so, even know what that is, ooh, and it sounds or a disgusting. Blue ribbon. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a mojito that is mixed with beer. Honestly, Fun fact the, that exists. No, honestly, the Why? way the way Kev described this person, it's been not drinking something alcoholic. <laughs> also, this is America. I like people like. You're not you're not drink inside all the time, Hera. Don't try to guess what people are going to do here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you're, not, you're not supposed to drink in public, right? That doesn't mean shit. We're on private property behind, <laughs> behind the air. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're not allowed to public. I don't know drunkens. what the bow part of the drink is. Bohemian. National Bohemian. That's mm. the name of the drink. Oh, um, okay. Bo. I, I guess I it's a nasty bow. I or something. thought it was related to that natural light beer, which doesn't sound like it should be a beer's no. name. No, that's, a, that, that's definitely not a uh, high I thought it was beer. naturally light plus 
both something. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, so, yeah, it, how's it going, neighbor? Just fixing my friend's car. Ah. This is he's it. This the, is it. He's another guy. He's like, you know, you could trade that in for something better. That's like yep. a gas guzzler. You should get yourself like a Nissan Leaf or a Tesla or something. You know, something uh, classy. If I want a car to explode, it'll be on my terms. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> looking at this, it looks like you got a gremlin here almost. Uh, I'm sure it would explode by a little tap in the back, too. Um, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, like, you know, you trade in for something a little bit better. Like, you could probably sell it, uh, scraps. I hear this guy named Crazy Ray's is uh, uh, trading in for quite a bit of money above uh, Blue Book value for, you know, junky cars. Crazy Ray's. What a crock. Not for this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you could maybe get like a couple hundred from Crazy Ray's. There's a reason he's called crazy. Yeah. Uh, no, thanks. I know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm a professional. Oh, I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying you could get like a lot better out of this. I mean, you know, I'm going to get something better out of this when I'm done with it. You have no idea. Oh, no, guys. I'm not seeing what you're seeing because I'm just seeing something that's not going to work or anything. But uh, you, you're a mechanic. You, you, you're you um, getting you uh, getting out of you, right? I, I did say that explicitly. Yes. Yeah. Do you um, also work on uh, electrical stuff? Like yeah. Electric callers? Electro what? Electrical cars. Electric cars. Oh, I thought you said electric collars. Oh, no, no. I'm not into that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I do both. But how much do you charge an hour? I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what anything costs. So I'm going to say a number that is 20% higher than most. Whoa, that's pricey. It's hmm. cheap for one of those kind of cars. I mean, oh yeah, I don't know about it cheaper, but it is more convenient than having to go to one of the Tesla shops if you can get into it. Yeah, that's where that's where the trouble is. Mm. They make everything yeah. proprietary, and then they make you go to them. They can charge whatever they want. I know. I have mm. two different chargers at my house: one for my wife's, uh, you know, Nissans and stuff, and one for the Tesla because Tesla has to have a different charging port. You can't just shove any charging port into it. You got to charge, uh, put a Tesla in there. You need a universal charger adapter cable. Yeah, but my wife wanted her private one because, you know, you know how the the wives are with their cars. No, but I can guess. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to assume your husbands can be like that, too. I'm quite single. We don't get any ideas. (laughs) Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. I don't play the game like that. There's no loser in that game. Except my wallet. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if you go and date somebody, you gotta treat them. You can't just like go out on a you know cheap date to the park all the time. Unless you're I'm a little young to be so old fashioned. I mean, I feel like you know when you are you know treating someone and dating them or married, you, you gotta treat them nice, and sometimes that involves you know spending money on them. Okay. You know, you can't just be cheap all the time. I mean, take them occasionally, even after marriage. You, you've been married a couple of years and stuff. You still want to try to be nice and treat the missus and everything and not just assume, oh, I got them. I don't need to do shit nor. Well, I guess that's something. Yeah. Well, one day you might know. Maybe not. It's up to you. I'm not going to judge. All right. But Did yeah, you yeah. want, want I'm something? Just, oh, I'm just trying to get to know my neighbor. You're new. All right. Um, new well, if you area. go to the front of the house, some of the uh, people who live here might be able to talk to you. They're all very interesting, and they like to meet new people. Can we go on the back? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Just uh, knock first, though. I, I also know now what I what what kind of car it is. I think so. It's um it's a very beat up pickup truck. Uh, it is actually quite hard to make out what make it is. It might be like um, put together from like more than one car. Um, and like the, the back part where the pickup thing is, has like a makeshift, like kind of like roof cover over it. So the bed has a cover on it. Yes, the bed, that's what it's called. I couldn't think of the thing what's called. 
<clears throat> Maybe after this, we can get you some rhino lining. <laughs> That's the pickup related thing that I know about. Or F-150. <laughs> you ever have the wind blow up your skirt and... <laughs> Sorry. Is that truck related? Because F-150s? Like... No, it's, it's a joke on the Ford commercials where they just oh. like go off on some totally unrelated to a Ford car. And like, that's what it feels like to drive a Ford truck. But anyway, it's a joke. It's a that sounds joke. like a terrible ad. It, it's a joke upon an ad and stuff, oh. but yeah. Well, those at home who get the joke, so please laugh. Those who are not getting the joke, please kill me. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's like, well, so what do you do and what is your name? Oh, my name is. Mine too. Paul. Oh. Paul, I'm Quint. Oh, nice to meet you, Quint. Yeah, so I'm um I own uh my own little um uh, social media thing. Like a cafe that has outdoor seating? No, I'm more like an influencer kind of person. Oh okay. Yeah, so I've... you don't okay. <laughs> I think I understand. Oh, so you yeah. don't have a real job. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, a, a famous DJ lives here. Maybe you probably oh. know about them. They're probably Maybe. popular on your media thing. Possibly. I do a lot of, um, I work with a company that has a lot of those uh, five minute hacks and do it yourself stuff. Okay. Yeah. My wife's a neurosurgeon. Oh. Well, nobody's perfect. Well, I mean, she gets busy and everything but she enjoys the work right oh you want to come introduce me to the rest of your family uh, you you live next door you said well technically two doors but yeah all right yeah yeah you can tell us about who lives in the area we don't really haven't met anybody yet well, i've only met a couple i, I we kind Are of you new to the of area some, um not too new it just um most of the people stay inside and don't come out and talk to people as much as they uh, as you would want. They're probably all doing social media all the time. They don't come out. Mm. Yeah. yeah, come on, show me. All your, right, uh, show me. I'll put my things down and uh, lead him to the house. Come on, Curly Q, let's go. No, no, no. It's overstepped, overstep. Yeah, that's not gonna. That doesn't work. Ah. All right, I'll walk him to the. Yeah. I guess the back door. Yeah. And I'll so knock you're... and open it and come inside and see what's what. Why did you so. knock? Yeah. Just so oh, people know somebody's like coming in. This is your house. You don't need to <laughs> knock. <laughs> <laughs> did you put pants on? <laughs> I'm not going to demand I mean, people who live in their house to do that. I mean, I, I said do. knock on the doors of like me and my siblings, but you know, you don't have to <laughs> knock when you just enter like a house. It's fine. You can just come in. Uh, so anyway, this is Paul. He lives a couple doors down. Oh, hey. hi. Oh. Just coming to meet us. Oh, you're one of those new modern blended families. He, I mean, he's, he, uh, he, he's like very roommates. positive. Mm, roommates. Roommates or roommates? Just roommates. I don't judge. It's amazing if you were the other one. I think if we were that, that would give that lady that was just here a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't happen to know a neighbor that looks like, and I'll give like a brief description of. Oh, yeah. Kind of a catty old bat. Yeah, I know her. She, um, um, she makes sure the neighborhood is. Like her? Protected, Boring. I guess you could say. Um, Boring, yeah. you mean? I mean, a lot of people here like what relatively boring. That's why we got this and not the more mm. exciting neighborhoods where the guns and drugs and violence are. Yeah, None of that around when these houses were made. Not really. These houses are quite old. I bet there's a ton of drugs here, though. Mm. Well, I can't really say anything. I mean, I do assume that, you know, Magic Snow might be around, but Asbestos. Yeah. yeah, we've got a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're working on it. We called people to inspect it. 
Oh my. <laughs> is Amaryllis in the area? It's, it's contained. You're fine. <laughs> I hear as long as you don't uh, disturb it, it's fine. But yeah, I know this uh, this building's a bit old. The last guy that uh, lived here was a bit of a crumungeon, I think is the term. No. Well, I mean, I just said yeah, it was a was, bit uh, He bit was eccentric. very old-fashioned mm-hmm. from what we could gather. The we, word we is didn't... curmudgeon. I, is that what I said? Crumungeon? Well, it's close enough. enough. Nobody's nobody's perfect. Yeah, we try. We try. But yeah, so but yeah, I'm a near, neighbor, Paul, um, social media person. If you if you need, oh. do you smoke gas? Yeah, that's me. I was working on a car. No, no, not kerosene, gasoline, like natural gas. Do we? We? You got Smith, used to it. Sniff check. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like this, he's just mentioning that the fact that we have ke- kerosene lanterns lighting our entire house. Do you guys not remember this? Oh, like, fuck. Oh, that's right. yeah. I forgot that. Let's stay. I don't know. It's I think cool. it's stay. Is Amaryllis in here? I'd want to introduce Amaryllis to the social media person. She'd probably roll out after hearing you guys chatting for a little bit. Oh, hey there. Hi. Hey, you look familiar. Uh, this is the DJ person you're talking about. Yeah, you should, you should have a lot in common. This guy is in social media. That's what you do, right? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> I do you make so media good. for large groups. Yes, yeah. I do do that. That is true. I mean, if you need someone to like help stream stuff, I have a whole nice setup at home. I am good with um, streaming. I actually can get OBS to work properly the first time. What? Yeah. I've memorized settings. Impossible. <laughs> it's it's really funny because uh, Amaryllis also has the socially networked ability. So she literally is already well connected in all that shit. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'll keep that in mind. Right now, I've got my own stuff to deal with right now, but I'll keep you in mind if I need one. Here. I actually have those old-fashioned business cards, or you can scan my QR code off of my phone. I figured you didn't have a QR code on his business card. Well, I do that, too, but yeah. I'm trying to do the fancy smartphone thing. I even bought one of those smart juicers. That was a waste of money. I have, I have a question. How old does this guy look? 30s. Okay, so he's old. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Fuck all facts. <laughs> I gotta make use of this while I still can say the 30s old. So uh, are there I do, yeah. When you uh, ask Paul like okay, so are there like any other kids around here? What do you mean by kids? Like age group wise. Well my my uh I have a sister who's eight and uh, and a brother who's fifteen. Um, there are some younger kids uh, that I've seen around. I don't quite know the houses because they don't come out and play too often, but I do see them coming home and leaving for school. And there are a couple teenagers. Uh, I think a couple of them have tried a a couple months ago did try to start a band, but that didn't last. Well, I mean, I'm not sure, like, uh, Jeremy is gonna, like, he, he has his friends all oh. across town, but, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, maybe, 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 uh, Nabu can, can find some friends here, that would be nice. Abu, oh, like, uh, Star Wars. No, her full name is Saint Abu, it's Senegalese, just roll with it. Also, yes, I know I'm white and she is black, but that's just... I have a difficult family tree, okay? It is... I wasn't going to say anything because I haven't seen your sister, so I, I didn't know. know. Just, um, if, you see, if you see a little black girl running around here, that's that's probably my sister. Awesome. Uh, blended families or like all that, that's cool. I don't really... Didn't, I don't judge. There's plenty of those in Baltimore City. Okay, just, I don't know. 
She's, yeah. She likes to explore sometimes, so if you, if you see her, uh, it's her. Okay. Um, cool. Um, oh, yeah, there's a nice Starbucks on the road if y'all uh, ever need it. There's like three or four of them. Uh, you want the one that is not associated with the bookstore or the one associated with the college bookstore. You want the other one. You just sit there on Starbucks. What's the difference? You'll be surprised. The workers change the quality. So the other two normally handle the student style cloud, and they tend to also be um, a bit fast and loose with the recipe, so to speak. So you don't really get as good quality, but the other one has a lot of older people who are clientele and workers, so they take a little bit more uh, time and effort in their drinks. Sounds like you have complicated drinks. Have you ever tried just ordering a coffee at Starbucks? They look at you strange. They do I, that anyways. I, I really <laughs> need to do that. Like Vex is like, oh yeah, no, we're gonna need to go to Starbucks when you're here. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go in there. I just I want the coffee. Well, no, here, see, here's the thing. When I go to Starbucks, I, I do it like a sane person. And I order online. Cat always spat her drink there, and I'm very happy with that. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, just came to see the neighbor, meet y'all, and get to know that I'm Paul. I'm Dunning. My wife, uh, she's currently working. Um, brain and, surgeon. Yeah, she's a neurosurgeon. Oh, wow. Anybody she's needs their brain fixed? I'll keep it. I in can't mind. do that. Keep that in mind. Ah, mind. Um, uh, Paul, I'm going to give you my business card. I actually own a small repair shop. If you ever need anything fixed or altered, or if you're looking for older things that have been refurbished, something like that. We're not running a business here. <laughs> no, my business is in a different location. Yeah, oh, that's right. He said he's not going to stay here. He has his own place to stay. Mm. Thanks. Yeah, that's cool. If I need um, take stuff in. You said you do electrical cars and stuff, so that's nice. Yeah, I can do pretty much anything. Hmm. But yeah, so how are we going? Um, yeah. See you all around. I uh, hope you all have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye. I'll show him out and get back to work on that car. Truck. As soon as the door closes. That was so much nice. It was so much more pleasant. Yeah. yeah. Weird guy, but. A little, a little odd. Uh, I, I mean, mean, we are odd, so. No, nah, what are you talking about? I'm completely normal, she says, rolling back into her room. <laughs> The living room. The living room. Yeah, she lives in it. That's what's called the living room. So how do I go about using magic to fix the truck? How overt do you want to be with it? Not. Not overt. I wouldn't do it overt. I mean, this is something that this character, had, the sort of thing that he does a lot all the time in his normal business. So I think if he's slow and methodical about it, there wouldn't be any sort of that's nothing really that would stick out as being unusual. I mean, what exactly are you trying to do with your magic? As you could repair without magic. I guess it'd be start if there's anything that's like broken that would need to be replaced, he could use magic to, you know, fix it in a way that normally couldn't be fixed. Like I don't know what car parts are, but like alternators are in there. I, I was about to say this one might be beyond. Repair yes, there are cars magic. that cars do have alternate. It's beyond there. repairing by a person, not beyond repairing by a magic. Exactly. Person. You know, so like if, if yeah, to create from nothing requires high levels of prime. I, if possible, I wouldn't be creating from from nothing if I didn't have to. But if something is like cracked in a way that couldn't normally be repaired, I think his magic would be able to like undo the crack, put things back in their proper order and place. Like if the pieces are all there. He could make sure they get configured back into the right configuration. That's like his his main thing. Yeah, the I think the idea is here. For example, if I said like it's it's like uh, put together like from more than one car, and that usually leaves a car very like structurally um, weak, and that could be something that would be strengthened. For example, yeah, it's something I'm thinking. The whole idea, by the way, put together by two cars, there was like years ago, I watched an episode of like, uh, with uh, Pimp My Ride, 
and someone came up literally with a car with like a front of one car and the back of another car and they were just like welded together yeah that's what i said you have a homemade el camino yeah i think i've seen pictures of cars like that (laughs) i mean that's like you said that's literally what an el camino is and and that is that is like not something you can like if you came like to to like a German like the 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 car like checking agency that we have here, it's called TÜV. If you came there, there would be like I think they would just like call the cops and arrest you because like you drove there with that car. And we're like, you, you, why? What are you doing? What the fuck is going wrong with you? You can't do that. Uh, just a question. Um, mm-hmm. So Luke, I did the thing with uh, Row Twenty where I pull the sheet out like with a thing when i move to different areas is that affecting you yes it so does yeah yeah all right damn okay because <laughs> i like to see what you know your characters are mm-hmm. so i can you know guide you through things but it's like i know that can be a really annoying that i when i move shit it affects your stuff i have most of what i wrote down about how things work on like a different document yeah. so i wasn't even looking yeah so i'm gonna have to uh Spend some time taking stuff off your character sheets onto a master document so I don't annoy you guys much. Um, as you know, I don't want to do that. All right, so you're just trying. All right, so you really want to use the magic for basic stuff. Like well, I I'm trying to know how magic works. Kevin. I do want to, yeah, I want to, yeah, we want to yeah. figure out how magic works. Let I think me do anything, magic. anything. No, there's no magic, magic in a magic game. <laughs> If it couldn't be done with regular repairing, it would take a lot of time. I want to do wizard shit. (laughs) That's the type of magic that it would replace. All right. So, all right. What tools are you using? Well, he's got all of his normal uh, repair tools, like wrench and uh, other tools that people use. Hammer, Uh, screwdriver. (laughs) I think he means your magic tools. Okay. Yeah. The focus is. Yeah. Well, I have a bag that has like a I bunch of a like wrench. assorted parts, <laughs> like screws and nuts and bolts and screwdrivers and stuff. Uh, I think the, the idea at the beginning was that I would apply some sort of electrical energy if possible, and then that would be converted to whatever uh, other energy would be required, like uh, mechanical energy or something that the object or material would use to reform into its normal shape. All right, so you were okay so let's look at your stuff you have two in matter that's the highest you got right and one in forces one in forces does not allow any real manipulation of energy or forces that allows you to perceive forces okay um with a two in matter that allows you to manipulate small quantities of matter so right. like, like little pieces of an engine yeah and things that you can hold in your hand and stuff uh so converting those and stuff would be based on the lowest dots so you won't really have much in the way of energy conversion at the moment well the energy conversion was just sort of how i was thinking that he looks into it not like i don't know because i don't know if energy conversion is actually necessary that's just how he understands it um now like just fusing like if you have two pieces of metal and you're fusing them together or it's not really fusing you're just putting them together like two broken halves and stuff matter two can do that if it's small so like small parts in the engine yeah but let's say you're trying to put two pieces of a building together that's too big oh yeah this is this is this Um, is small handheld stuff mostly that he'd be doing at this level instruments all right so uh since you're doing this part of actual repair that can be uh coincidental uh, or um the um is that a word i should know subtle i think it's called and yeah basically it's uh, magic what meaning it won't trigger paradox right. unless you totally botch the crap out of it i'm hoping not to botch the crap out of it yeah so what you need to do is roll your arate rating those are d10s okay difficulty is five because it's high sphere plus three oh okay yeah does this game have dice rolling on roll 20 i don't remember yes uh yeah if you click on the dice pool die pool oh there it is yeah it's at the top mm-hmm. you have so to tell this it is, how many uh, dice are in your pair and i have two arete so i got 
Is that what DP mod is? This is a difficulty. Games oh, that, is also oh. just roll two two d tens. Yeah, like but I thought I'd do this technologically. <laughs> uh, I think I'm doing this right. Did it two successes? Yeah, it looks like I rolled an eight and nine. All right. Yes, those are successes. All right. So that will um, help with. Uh, okay. Now, some of this is playing a little bit on the ear a bit, just because I don't want, we're not pulling out the 17 charts at the moment, just easing you into thinking about how magic works. Yeah, because we haven't used it yet. Right. So you're repairing. So that's success for that. I also would like you to roll. Um, let's say dexterity and technology. Oh, okay, I can do that. Cra uh, craft, sorry, craft mechanical systems. That probably be better. It's the same either way for you. So, okay, so do I have to put a difficulty for that too? Uh, difficulty is six. Six. It, um, yeah. If at all during the game, I if I don't mention a actual difficulty number, that is six. Default to six. So I got seven die for this. Pretty good. And see. Five successes. Two of them were tens, a double crit. Ooh, crit. Great success. Yeah, how do crits work in this game, Kevin? Um, yeah, if you're specialized, I believe you. This is where I'm trying to remember which one of the versions of Mage slash White Wolf games I'm thinking of currently. Um, <laughs> Because it has this part has changed between the games. I believe if it is your speciality, you re roll those dice and add more successes. Oh, oh, well, I think this is my speciality then. If I'm because if, it's one of the skills with specialties, if it falls under that speciality, yeah, yeah, then I guess I'd it I roll works better than a regular car. I guess I rolled two more d10s. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this index is both beautiful and horrible. It's an index. That well, the, the extra two were not success. And yeah, it's, it, it, I rolled three dice. Yeah, the index is beautiful in that it has got a lot, but it's a little less beautiful in that every instance of that word shows up. And sometimes you don't need all of that. So it's kind of like, ooh. PC. I know my alphabet. Do you? Maybe. Oh. Really? How? Anyway, okay. Yeah, so it takes time because that's that thing. Like, don't think of every time you roll as like six seconds like it's in D, D and stuff this oh, stuff yeah, this also be over, takes time this could be over a few days yeah um so you're repairing and stuff using a magic to get some of the stuff fixed up that's fixable at your skill with your stuff um yeah so you're going there trying to get the pos truck working yeah trying to get it like new or factory new. Newer than would be possible. Normally. And so, yeah, Quinn, as you are um, fixing that up, you hear another, you feel like a bump on your foot as somebody kicks your foot. Who the hell did that? Hey, what you doing with this truck? Who are you? I roll out because you can only repair a car from underneath. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's <laughs> always... <laughs> Who is it? Uh, it is a teenager. He's like, my name is Jeremy. That's my home. Don't judge. We met this kid yet. Is it the is truck is your home? home? We have not met this kid yet. Nope. Well, okay. Are you, so like. Are, are you with Ronya? Been here yet? Yeah, that's my older sister. She's a good friend of mine. She's inside, I think. I'm helping her out by fixing up this 
So you didn't steal it? I didn't steal it. She's inside. She brought it here so I could help her fix it up and so you could move into the new house. Um, I'm going to come outside. Because yeah, I yell your name. I, a, no, I, um, Ronya knows that Jeremy is now here because... Um, Big mouth. No, not big mouth, actually. I'm, I'm going to play on a little bit here. Um, actually, um, uh, Snorlax told her. It's like, hey, your dumbest brother is back. I get to play your familiar. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy my accent. Actually, does the familiar talk? Yes, okay. they do. They do. Okay. I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> my cat voice soon. I, I imagine Snorlax <laughs> told her because Snorlax is a curious little cat, curious little kitty. Yeah. So your brother, he's wearing a um, fast food uh, uniform from a place called Otoli's. Uh, it, you know, it's a new uh, chain that's v- growing extremely fast throughout uh, the world. Uh, in fact, it might be able to surpass McDonald's soon. Uh, note this is a world of darkness industry, not a real world industry. This is one of the areas where things differ. But yeah, he's standing there, he's just like, who the hell did we kill to get this house? Nobody. Just don't question it. It was natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> and, Here I and am, like- getting a job, actually working for money for the family, and you're here? Yes. You can go back to school. I I just got a job at Totuli's like three days ago. I walked in, well, the guy just gave me a job on the spot, gave me a uniform, allowed me shower and everything. And you're, yeah, well, you, you, t- 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 why didn't you text me? I texted you about 15 times. Have you put me, have you blocked me again? Seriously? I thought that was Naboo talks to me. No, it was me. I told you about this. Uh, this... I, I, I was busy. I was trying to get a job. And I got one. It pays decent. going to pay me Listen, 16 can... an hour. I, I'm fine. only 15. I mean, that's nice and all. But just... I'd rather you go back to school, okay? I can do both. I can only work so many hours a week because of labor laws. Though the general manager said he can overlook that and uh, put me in as a second yeah, person. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. <sighs> we're not doing that. Just please go Brought back some to food school. In. I mean, yeah, that's nice. Um, just please go back to school. Well, what's cool? I still have to get in. We're like far away from the last one I got kicked out of. Yeah, just... We're going to have to go through the registration process again. Yeah, we do, but just... I can drop out and work. No, please. It's better if you go to school. Just... 15 an hour. Listen, we got literal gold with this house, okay? Literal, actual gold. Don't worry about 15 an hour. I, I, I just feel unprofessional just to quit. I'll work there part-time. It's, I, I still want a job. I mean, it gives me something to do other than just, you know, teaches me responsibilities. Responsibilities. I, I just don't want to end up like, you know, poor again. I, I mean, you say you have gold and everything in a nice house, but what, how long until they kick us out for being squatters? They won't. We own the deed and everything. Mm. I signed. I just, I just don't feel right about it. Good things I don't happen to the family. Weird. You have, you have your own room. Ah, I don't have to share the cab. Oh, the drive, mm. uh, the stick shift is not going to be sticking me in places. No. <laughs> You finally have some privacy for whatever you want to do. I don't want to know. One time you walked in. I told you. 
just you know, I need like, a friend, I life life is it's it's gonna get better okay you can have friends over whatever it's fine i don't really have many friends just the only the only drawback is now that we like you know have some people we live with who are like maybe a little bit weird but i mean we're with i'm weird too especially me but you know this i can't be worse than that one guy that was hanging out outside the uh restaurant when i left last night yeah was he following you or anything? i was just standing out there just staring at people thankfully the manager uh it was like kid i'm gonna take you someplace where you can rest and have a nice thing because he thought i was homeless well i am homeless up until now uh so yeah the manager actually paid for me to have a hotel for a night or two i walked in said i need a job he's like well kid I ain't hurry. It looks like you really need it. So I, he, um, you know, got me the uniforms, filled out the paperwork. I started that evening, he even got, got me a hotel room to stay at. Okay. Nice I, wanna, guy. I, I, I need to talk to this guy. And he said, I don't have to worry about the workers permit or anything because he understands that sometimes homeless kids need the little extra help and don't always have family. So he knows some people to, uh, Get some of that paperwork uh, taken care of. Yeah. Okay. So where's this? Where's this restaurant? Oh, Hotelies. It's a couple blocks away. I had to take the bus to get here. Okay. Yeah, I took the free bus because I didn't have much money. He did uh, afford me uh, part of my first check though, so I could uh, afford groceries. This guy is way too nice to not have any other motives. <laughs> Kev Smurf says <laughs> that either he has all the ulterior motives or zero ulterior motive. Yes. There is no in between. That's just love my games. Like no matter how nice or it's like super nice, sus, evil demonic person, we can trust that dude. You know what they want. Okay, you can trust the evil demonic dude to be an evil demonic dude. Yeah, you can trust yeah, him to stab yeah. you in the back. Like you expect him to be a douchebag. But like this person is like, okay, you're planning something and it's probably nefarious. Hey, more so to these, it might be working now. He's the GM down there. Anyway, I'm gonna go in since you said this, we have we have a place and yeah, sure. Check uh, out your room. It's it's across from mine. Uh I'm I'm sharing a room still with uh Santa, but you know, like she's she's not sleeping that well. Hey. It would help if you show me where it is because I have no idea unless you have a sign oh, which yeah, room's sure. yours. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've never been in this house before. Uh I yeah. yeah. Uh she walks him in and it's like uh, also um we're still renovating. There's like uh lead in the paint and asbestos in the walls, so like don't lick it. Um but we're taking care of that. Lead asbestos, woo. Walks in. As he walks in, uh, Holly and Amaryllis, you smell grease, a little bit of burger, some fry. Because <laughs> anyone who's working fast food knows that smell oh, once it gets yeah. on your uniform, it's just there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just walks in, he's like, hey, oh shit, I know that person. As he points to uh, Amaryllis, it's like, hey, you're a uh, you're, uh, FATL. Fatal, but yeah. I told my friend that's what it stood for, and he was like, nope, it stood for Fast and Furious 8. <sighs> nope, never even seen that movie. Huh. Not really my thing. Yeah, it's not for everybody. It's really good if you're into family fix. Come on, I'll show you your room. You even have a bed and everything. Yeah, I, I've seen uh, some, of the, uh, some of Fado's uh, stuff on YouTube. School. Yeah, yeah, I know she's famous, but you know, living with her, so don't like go all fanboy on her, okay? Well, I'm not a huge fan. And don't like actually no, if she's okay with it, and you can you can like I don't know, get some autographs, sell them off or something. I don't care. But you have to like that's that's a thing between you and her. Okay. Just be respectful. It's like, er. go sees the room. It's like, canopy bed and an armoire and a brassiere. Wow, where are your old room looking? Yeah. 
it's it's kind of like we, we need to like i guess uh i don't really like the vibe of the of these rooms some of them they're just uh reminds me of a great grandma yeah exactly <laughs> they're a bit too um it smells like one too they're not us but yeah. i don't know you know like i don't know, put to put up some like band posters or whatever yeah. Ooh, candor scones Okay, now you know where your room is, and I'm gonna have a chat with your manager. You know, just you know, thank him for his kindness. Oh, he might uh, offer you a job too if you ask for one. I might actually have a new job. That isn't oh. shitty. Um, one of my uh, roommates has a has a flower store, and she she said she was looking for like. Oh, uh, oh, thank goodness! I thought you'd be selling those knives in that pyramid scheme again. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna point out that Ronya never would have had the money to like even start being in a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah, that's why it didn't really work out. <laughs> <laughs> she thought about it for a moment and then remembered, wait, shit, hey, I have no money for that. Would you like to buy some knives? Can I see a demonstration? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you we want to buy some affordable knives that I can't afford? I mean, also, what would she do with some knives? She like stab like, someone? For the, not for the longest part. She didn't even have a fucking kitchen. <laughs> you don't need no, no, no. She's selling the knives, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, but knife so good it cuts through uh, tin cans. <laughs> when you got this can mm. of mystery, if you got this mystery can without a label that you found all <laughs> found behind a grocery store, you can cut it open with this knife. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah um Vanya actually um like once she leaves actually no he ha uh, he said he, he was about to go into work no he came from work right mm -hmm. yeah he came from work uh yeah she's she's gonna grab her back and, and get to this uh fast food place that i keep forgetting the name of oh to lease oh to i can you can you spell it in chat i will attempt it give me a second uh let me double check the spot <clears throat> Hey, I did have it right. Okay. Uh, can you give me one second. There you go. Oh, Tollies. Oh, Tollies. Yeah. Is that real? No, it's, no, it's not. a it's a world of darkness. This is thing. this is the oh. I understood. Um, th 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 there is a um. It does look like when I was trying to make sure the spelling that there is a real place with the same name, but it is not the real world automotive place. Um, it's a fast food. It's called the Family Restaurant. <laughs> yeah, she she's gonna like take the bus or whatever to uh, get to the restaurant too, and she's gonna grab her bag before she goes. So y'all see. Uh... Ryan, I'm not. Did you sure you don't want to ask one of the people with the car for a ride? Yeah, if you're heading out, do you want to live somewhere? I mean, sure. I'm. I'm gonna go to like this Otali's place. Um. My my brother got some work there, and I don't know. The manager seems extremely nice. He's paying something. fifteen an hour, which is like. Um, yeah, he's at 16, Hera. Huh? I heard 17. 16 an hour. <laughs> oh, 16 an hour. 15, 16 an hour. It's, it's pretty... No, it's 16 an hour, not 15, 16 an hour. <laughs> 16, 15. Either way. Okay. And he paid for uh, a hotel stay. Okay. Yeah, for my 15-year-old brother. I'm a little bit worried. Yeah. Yeah, that part makes it a little sus. Like everything else up until then was like, okay, he seems like a decent human being. Also, just like gave him a job on the spot. Other kind of, you know, you know, sometimes you see something and it's just too good to be true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You guys need anything while we're out? Give me cheeseburger. 
I mean, check the back that for, ch check the bag that my brother brought. Maybe there's a cheeseburger or something in there. Uh, oh, he did say he brought food. Yeah. You just, uh, open a bag. There's like six cheeseburgers, three things, onion rings, two large fries. I'm good then. <laughs> okay, valid. All of my. <laughs> Just uh, disappears yeah, it, with Anya the bag under the walks car. Out, then walks back in, then comes <laughs> back out with it a on his chest. Bag. Like an otter. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cutest shit I've ever imagined. Right. So Are you also like taking your wrench or something to like. <laughs> I use it to unwrap it. <laughs> it's called Smash Burger. <laughs> I'm just imagining we come back and he rolls out next time and he just has a burger in his mouth. Huh? I'll pay you Tuesday. <laughs> Everyone else lives in the house and Quant lives under the car. Uh, so Holly and Ronya drive down to the old toilets. Old toilets. You just see the sign, big old grand opening and stuff. Quite packed. Lots of people going in and out. They offer a variety of foods. You see they have burgers and fries, hot dogs, and even mini pizzas. They got some good deals. They have very large milkshakes. In fact, their milkshake's so thick, you need help with them. Their milkshake bring all, brings all the boys to the yard. Mm -hmm. And there's even a sign that says, ice cream machine, ours actually works. <laughs> McDonald's didn't want to sponsor us. Wait. Go ahead. I would do anything for money. Wait, do McDonald's <laughs> ice cream machines don't work because the consensus says they're constantly broken? <laughs> mm, what a darkness says yes. <laughs> <laughs> they go in, you see lots of people just buying food and stuff. People like, oh. Yeah, I walk in and I just walk up to the counter and it's like, I need to speak to the manager. <laughs> So one of the kids is like, oh, oh, um, uh, uh, did, did, did your food order get, uh, uh, I, I, I can fix it. No, it's not the food order. Uh, just my, uh, my, my little brother, Jeremy, he started working here. Oh, Jeremy. Yeah, he cool. He was, he was working and uh, we were talking and we were doing stuff and it, it, he seems cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we go get the manager. Would you like fries? No, wait. I'm not supposed to say that yet. Uh, okay. It's a dog. <laughs> You're welcome, Hera. A few moments later, you see a um, gentleman walk out, slightly larger, uh, you know, kind of um, little rotund gentleman wearing like a white button-up shirt, very nice, a tie. It's a little um, off kilter and stuff you know with the buttons up it looks like he might you know be helping out in the kitchen occasionally he's wearing a uh, hat that has the sim uh the company symbol on it um kind of clean shaven sh um short like almost buzz style cut he's like i'm the manager uh how can i help you uh you gave my little brother a job jeremy Mm, yeah, I did give Jer a person named Jeremy a job uh, a couple of days ago. That's uh, true. Yeah, he's my little brother. Um, Congratulations. He's a hard worker. Very uh, got a good head on his shoulders. Very um, dedicated. He said that he uh, was very thankful for the opportunity to work so that he could provide for his family. Great kid. How nice of you. Um, you You're looking for a job too? We got some openings. We are expanding. I have got four more stores coming in soon. Just you. You know what? We are too close to customers and stuff. Why don't you come back to the office so we can talk a little bit more privately, so that we're not airing all your business to everybody. All right, we can do that. Uh, here, let me let you into the side door. Come on. And this is your girlfriend. <laughs> oh. Wait, how old is Molly? Uh, yeah, I was curious. I, I, we didn't <laughs> compared to Anya ever, because they, ever uh, cover how old Mo Holly is. Uh, yeah. Holly, Holly's probably like, probably early mid thirties. Wow, ancient. 
yeah Fuck vanya you, vanya's like is Get like out. early 20s i will fight you woman she's like 20 don't, maybe, you don't want to do that cat you might break your hip <laughs> <laughs> Just the defeated look there when I said that. It's a real okay, danger. So <laughs> anyway, Vanya just looks at Holly. It's just like just a friend. Cool, cool. Sorry to assume. Come on in. Takes it back to his office. Sits down. It's got a computer desk. Like typical fast food or restaurant style office. So there's always that paperwork that should be filed, but never seems to be filed because they just never like get a thing. And then there's like ha- half a, thing, a milkshake there, a bunch of name tags on the wall. And you're just like, it's just like, so how can I help you? Um, actually, as I was like walking back with them, uh, something Rania would have paid attention to is like the all the people who are working there, what age are they? Are they like also older ones or are they like all teenagers? Is the one she talked to what was like how old was he? Roughly? It varies in age. The one you were talking to seemed like he was in the um especially his time of day and stuff. Um probably late teens, early twenties. You do see some older people working in the kitchen. Um so it is varied. Uh there is a couple senior like people working mm-hmm. and young. Um there does seem to be a gap between like 30 to like 50 year old like that gap seems to be missing so it's like really young or really old people say so so um i heard that you also paid for uh, a hotel room for my little brother yeah he uh, indicated that his family uh, him in particular was um, and I don't mean to pry, and I hope that, you know, it's, don't, don't feel embarrassed, but he said that you were living out of a car, that you were homeless, and he had no place to f- shower or freshen up or store any of his stuff. So I figured, you know, hiring him, giving a good chance to b- finally get on your feet, you're going to need more than just a paycheck. So I figured pay for a couple of nights at a hotel and to, um, you know, get going so- and stuff. That's no longer true. And B, as his older sister, you can maybe understand my concern that some person I do not know pays a hotel room for my 15-year-old brother. Well, the way he was saying it is that um, he, he, his family, he had a younger sister and that his older sister and him were separated by distance. So there was no way to contact you or anything. So, you know... It, it, if he had indicated that and actually had given me your number, I would have, you know, obviously called a parental style figure. Uh, but he said that you weren't really in contact and there's just him and his little sister living out of a car. That little shit. Yeah, I mean, teenagers. I mean, honestly, you kind of reminded me that j- just my story. When I was younger, my family experienced some tragedies and stuff and i myself was living on the streets for a while and it was rough and i understand how that is and one day a um guy who owned a uh, store him and his wife they decided saw me as i came in just like hey i need a job and they're like you know at first they were hesitant as just unkept person with jeans rep jeans and a t-shirt coming and ask for a job but they, they gave me a chance and because of that, I'm now um, GM of this store, franchise owner, a couple more franchises coming in, and I like to pay back. So when I see someone like your, you and your brother who are in this similar situation, I like to help and give them the chance, give you a, the uh, opportunities to move forward and advance past your circumstance. Because it does take a lot more, like I said, than just cash to really help out. And I'm sorry if it overstepped, but like I said, he did not really indicate that you were kind of in the picture. So sorry about that. But you say you're good now. You like got a yeah, place, we, don't we, you? We got a we got a place. That is um, wonderful. If if at any point you guys are struggling, just let me know and I can help out as long as you are and you're okay with it. Uh what kind of like general vibe do I get of him? Does he seem genuine? Uh, yeah, is there like an insight check? 
You and your inside checks. You know what? I can pull up Sage's character sheet because he's not here for me to move his stuff around and see what skills and stuff there are. To bug him. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Is it There's is? empathy, awareness. No, wait. Alert. Awareness is for supernatural stuff. Um. I hope he's not rolling a uh, cult. <laughs> mm. Oh, Harper. Uh, so roll, I'll say, perception and just trying to think a nice one. And I guess alertness that those work for now. Okay. Or empathy, uh, either or. Uh, it's, it's the same for me. When I roll okay. those, do I just... Uh... Uh, you add that together, that's your dice pool, roll them, difficulty is six. And it's the tens, right? Correct. Um, <clears throat> it was perception and awareness or alertness? Alertness or empathy. The DP mod is zero. I think that's how it goes. It's either that or the DP mod is how many dice you're rolling. It's really badly put together. Um, yeah, that would be it. And I, it I, went... Weird. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Well, for those at home, we're using one of the uh, fan-made character sheets on roll 20. The, on, the dice roll they're using is a bit oddly put together when it comes to actually rolling. I just rolled actual dice. Dice pool. DP is dice pool. So, yeah, so that's how many dice. Yeah. I, I just rolled actual Oh, I thought dice. it was something different. And I will, <laughs> high, highest is an eight. I discard all the others, I assume. Anything below six, yeah. Yeah, I wrote one. Um, did you roll any ones? Nope. All right. Yeah, so ones basically gobble up successes. Hmm, okay. So. I got three successes. Um, You are getting overall genuine stuff, but at the same time, there's still a little uneasiness, um, possibly because he is like a, you know, it's just unusual for someone in his situation to be so free with uh, his resources, but he does seem genuine and that he is uh, genuinely trying to help. Mm -hmm. Like there's not ulterior motives. It's just very unusual, like there's mm -hmm. something weird about him, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, Honey, it's like, I, I would very much like if you could give me your number and name so I can contact you. Well, I can give you a number here. Jeremy should have it, but I'm guessing he didn't give it to you. No, he did not. Mm, little rapscallions, you know, when they're teenagers, they would think they can do everything on their own and don't need parents or siblings yeah. or I also want to use I don't know how you're related to anything so I I am her sister no her oh whose name I have not gotten Holly we're I'm a roommates <laughs> <laughs> nowadays that's anonymous for many things <laughs> uh Oh, which reminds me, I got to switch our logo's colors soon. All right. Anyway, just, um, yeah. Here's, and okay, here's my business card. I want card. to make this sure I do not, I want him to go back to school too. He's only 15. He thinks he has to like bear all of this and he does want to work. And I mean. Well, he can only work so much a week because he is uh, 15. Uh, so there are labor laws. I can give you the packet. He just opens a file cabinet and pulls it out. Uh, that is the label laws for children uh, under the age of 16. How many hours they can work and everything. What they can and cannot do. Um, as for schooling and stuff, uh, obviously make sure that he is only scheduled afternoons, probably Fridays and Saturdays, you know, when they're off. If his grades start slipping or aren't uh, adequate, just let me know. And I can reduce hours, or if you need help, I do have some resources uh, of some tutors I know, though the school should provide that, but I do know sometimes schools are a little bit too 
uh, they don't always provide adequateness. Okay. Um, so there's that. Yeah. And like I said, I really have a problem because, you know, hey, we we also have a thing. Uh, he's a bit young for it still. But if he stays with the company long enough when he becomes an adult at 18, we do have a management track where we can send them to Otali's uh, Academy to train to be a manager. Where they can go and become uh, eventually move up to senior or general management positions within the franchises. I can also go to shift manager and stuff like that. Yeah, just opportunities when he's older. Unfortunately, at 15, they don't really qualify for any of that because, yeah, we'll, kid. We'll see where things take us. Yeah. Just, uh... But yeah, um, if either of you are interested in a job at Otali's, we are also looking for other things. She owns uh, a business. I think I'm good. Thank you. Okay. I'm just saying store managers do earn 70K a year. That's a lot. <laughs> this company is extremely <laughs> sus. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, I was like, fuck? Sus. Suddenly, I was like, what the fuck? I make less of that way running a goddamn business. Yeah, I. For those, if you're wondering, Otolis has a very interesting business model. We base it after um, stuff like uh, Ben and Jerry's or um, uh, uh, another place where instead of uh, the uh, board and everything making 7,000% the workers and stuff, the money is actually reduced so that the highest paid workers are only making about two, 300,000 a year so that all that extra profit goes back down to pay everyone else more. We figured good, well-paid employees stay with the company for a while. And we have very low to turnover rate. We can save in training and stuff in the long run. It does seem like a smart business model. Oh, yeah. Also, my, my, my brother mentioned there was a weird dude uh, looking about uh, Yeah, we did notice that there is a couple, uh, there was a strange individual uh, I say a couple, but only one that you need to worry about because the other one, he's no longer here, thankfully. Um, that was hanging out the other night. I did escort, I made sure that we escorted all of our staff to their cars or other places safely in groups and everything. And I did inform um, the local authorities of the individual and I did confront and told them not to come back. I'm not sure what their deal was. I'm thinking they were, you know, a little drug drug kind of thing, maybe trying to sell to the kids, um, you know, that extra candy. But I did tell them not to come back and I did alert the authorities of him. Okay. But if, uh, if your brother ever indicates that he's feeling unsafe to mm. you, let me know, and I will see what I can to uh, make the place safer. We are installing extra cameras above and beyond what is uh, required by safety uh, standards. Uh, ju just um, out of character, uh, Ronya is a little bit paranoid about vampires and other things. That's when I, she's like, that's like anything weird, immediately that's where her mind goes. <laughs> oh. And by the way, Name's Patrick, which I know is fitting. Working at Totoli's, the family restaurant. Family. We're trying to outcompete with Olive Garden, too. Our food is about the same quality. Now, Olive Garden, if you want to sponsor us, I will make your quality up, uh, make it better in our games. Um. <laughs> just, just keep it's roasting every company and then play, make them pay you to not roast them. It's a world of darkness. Every everything sucks except for Olive Garden. <laughs> if you sponsor us, <laughs> it's not, it, it, it seems currently everything sucks except for Tolly. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, if you're interested in stuff, uh, here's the family and stuff. Um, in fact, here, um, just so what you know about you, stuff. What did you pay for the hotel, by the way? What did I pay? Yeah, was about eighty a night. It's a cheaper hotel. I mean, I it wasn't the Ritz or anything. It was like a Motel 8 kind of thing. I mean, could have been better, but, you know, he indicated that and didn't really have a lot of time to go on bookings.com or Expedient. Is that the name of the website? Or is that the travel one? Anyway, the uh, I mean, hotels.com. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't go to the Shatner place. So we um, 
Instead, you know, I just local just, place that I seemed wanna, okay. I want to pay you back. No, I do not accept money back. My money when I give to people for things is freely given without the concept of returns. They no, take their okay. they take their no refund you know, policy seriously. You know, <laughs> if you want to do any kind of payback, just make sure that your brother does well in school and make sure he's safe, like a big sister should. And we that's, call it even there. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Uh, in fact, here, um, he reaches the cabinet, pulls out something. Here is actually uh, the um, benefits package too. If your brother is interested in that, he said he wasn't sure because it does take money out of the paycheck, but. If he's interested, and here's the employee manual. He left his. Okay. And if you want, I, both of you can have a milkshake on the house. Uh, just, no, thank you. I, Extra large. I, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of milkshakes. Burger, soda, hot dog, something. I mean, anything. my brother just came home and brought some food, so... Okay, well, in that case, just here, here's a coupon. <clears throat> okay, take the coupon. <laughs> Good for any of the Otolis in Maryland. All right, then. Uh, How many of them you. are there in Maryland now? Right now we have 10. And have a nice day. You too. As soon as we're walking out the door, I'm like looking up this company on Glassdoor to see what people are writing about it. It's got like, and stuff. Um, yeah, so you really, it's a fast growing company expanding throughout the US and Canada. It's got five out of five star ratings for the most part and everyone is just raving about it. It is obscene how good the ratings are for this place. Like from employees, from customers, from Yelp and everything. Out of character, something tells me the technicals is behind this. <laughs> it's a front for something. It's yeah, it's too good to be true, literally, in every sense. Yeah. It's like and it's like you do have a, there you do see one four star glass door rating from an employee. Mm. What does he say? Uh, basically great job, pros, you know, great pay, great benefits, friendly people, con, you smell like a burger leaving the place. Well, that's fair. That's the reason why I don't want to walk fast food anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's also um, there are there is a little thing where cons do pop up of customers can be a bit of dicks. I mean, it's fast food. Yeah, yeah. You seem nice enough and genuine, but still, it's yeah. It was weird. So, like, I'm torn because. I completely understand your hesitance. I, I assume we're having this conversation in the car. Yeah. I completely understand your hesitance. It's very weird and shady. <clears throat> the idea of a grown man putting a teenager up in a hotel. But considering he thought that it was just him and your little sister, mm. I still That's don't weird. understand. Like, I mean, I, I guess I understand not calling CPS because there's a chance they would get split up and everything, but like that sh- should be what you oh should do if God, you find I'm really glad that he on... didn't do that. Holy shit, that would have been so much trouble. Yeah, it would have. But at the same time, it concerns <clears throat> me that he didn't think to do that. That he thinks it's a better option for the 15-year-old to just continue on his own considering it's not like he can open a bank account a meanwhile two bank days bank ago did you need to open a bank account too uh, let me help you <laughs> <laughs> um oh totally's bank <laughs> and oh my god he's getting paid in a totally dollar <laughs> but at the same time like this guy reminds me of like what companies were like and what bosses were like when my parents were young like my dad's a very sort of like blue collar sort of dude and this is the sort of thing that his bosses would do for him back in like the 60s and 70s so it could just be like guys just, really old fashioned i'm just i mean he said he he knew like how it is growing up yeah shit like this but i'm just i'm i'm gonna like 
keep my eyes on him. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you should anyway, just because it's a good idea to make sure that Jeremy isn't getting distracted and prioritizing work over school or anything. Um, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, at the Chantry House, <clears throat> Amaryllis, as you're sitting there just doing your thing. Jeremy you got into the edibles. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Naboo comes down it's like, do you know where my sister went? Um, I think she went to over to where Jeremy is working. Oh, yeah, he just told me. He, he's going to take a nap because he's a little bit tired. He's telling me. It sounds like a great place. I should go work there, but I'm too young. I think you're a little young, kid, yeah. yeah. Um, do you want the list of things my sister says I can't do so that you can just ignore it so I can do them uh, anyway? Because you're the adult and I need your permission. What did she tell you before I agree to anything? Oh, I'm not allowed to jump down the stairs. Yeah, probably don't do that. I don't really feel like calling a... Uh, Getting an ambulance for you. What if I put a mattress at the bottom? Actually, Ronya wouldn't have been that restrictive. She would have been mostly don't annoy other people and don't go into their rooms. No, I imagine the don't jump down the stairs is only because she's done it before and broke her arm. <laughs> she kind of just looks and, and says, "Do you and want Ronya to go does to the not have life today, three, kid? so that was a real bitch to deal with." Oh. <laughs> Hospital. I, 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 I didn't. Well, last time I was there, they did really have good pudding. I can buy you better pudding than they have. Oh, pudding. Can I go in other people's rooms? Probably not a good idea. Oh. Can I go into the basement? Definitely not a good idea. Mainly because I can't help you down there. I didn't need your help. I just need permission. I mean, in case something happens, because I don't think Q's going to help anybody. Hmm. Can I light my shoes on fire and run down the road? That's a very specific thing she forbid you to do. Have you done that before? Jeremy did. <laughs> did it on a dare, probably, or some bullshit like that. Ooh, can I drink that special uh, uh, spicy liquid that's in the fridge? Special spicy liquid? What? Sriracha. Yeah. I'm thinking... Either she's talking about Sriracha or she's talking about someone has some vodka in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, or Fireball. It's next, what, yeah. it's next to the uh, the beer. Yeah, probably don't drink that. That's that's probably alcohol. Oh. I haven't had that before. Why am I not allowed to drink it? It's an adult drink. Why? Because it's bad for you. Then why do adults drink it? Because we're dumb. Adults are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I have any of those gummies that uh, that guy brought the other day? No, those are also adult things. Well, I'll get you some of your own gummies. My gummies give me the runs. Did she buy sugar-free gummies? Yeah, she pulls out the uh, pack of sugar-free hot barrow or whatever it's called. <laughs> the monster. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, uh, uh, a stranger gave this to me. The stranger trying to poison you? you? Troll gave those to you. No, it's a guy who at the store. I had some money and paid him for, and got some candy, but I didn't know who it was, so it's a stranger. <laughs> yeah, the whole concept when they're like, kids, don't talk to strangers seems really weird when you have to purchase things. Yeah, it does seem a bit weird. Yeah, because you don't know who they are. They're complete strangers, but I have to do a transaction. Mm -hmm. Change money for goods and services. I learned that from Simpsons. It is a very important thing to do. Mm -hmm. I also learned the difference between envy and jealousy. Which is? Jealousy is the fear of losing something to someone or something else. Well, envy is the desire of something that someone else has or owns. A smart kid. I know I spend a lot of time in the library because it is open a lot and they don't kick you out right away. I read Listen all the Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, I go there and even have a kids section where you can sit and watch the kids programming. 
like the one we went to was really cool. It was like had those like bed like things you could lay on while you watched educational programs on TV. That was nice. Like Beekman's World. Bit old, but awesome. There's a guy with a rat suit in it. Never heard of it. Huh. It's like Bill Nye, but a little more eclectic. All right. Oh, and Magic School Bus. There's an episode with a fish jizzed on them. <laughs> if I sit on the back of your chair, can you push me around with it? Not really. It might actually make it very unstable. Yeah. Sorry. Darn. Ooh. Can we like go go outside somewhere where there's a hill and I sit in your lap and you just let the brakes go and we just green down the uh, hill going wee. Like I said, the last thing I want to do is deal with a uh, a medical bill right now. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, there's no like TV or anything. There's only like books. I can't even plug in my uh, game. Here. Do you have a phone? It's dead. She'll uh, reach into her stuff she's brought with her, which she would 100% have a battery pack and just hand it to her. Ooh. I can charge up my game system now yeah. and my phone. We'll, we'll have pa- electricity here soon. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting that set up. There is the opposite of shocking when I found out there's no electricity here. Whelming? Uh, yeah, whelming. Everything's always under and over. Never just whelmed. Yeah. Like the Aster. <laughs> I like that show. Wish I had HBO so I could watch all four seasons. Because seasons three and four get really interesting and good. HBO, uh, sponsor us. <laughs> oh fuck you HBO eat shit <laughs> you need to insult them first <laughs> no the reason I insult HBO is because HBO sh- is shit in general not America we got some good shows there HBO doesn't exist in Canada yeah <laughs> actually I think it does HBO stands it for home exist. box office by the way if anyone was interested it's not TV yeah it's, HBO. it's worse <laughs> uh so after the kid annoys you a bit, the door does open unless uh, Holly and Rona go somewhere else instead of straight back here. No, I think we'll, we'll go straight back. Yeah. To walk um, in, you just see uh, Nebu talking to Amaryllis like, yeah. Oh, they're home. Darn. I didn't do anything wrong. I can it confirm like that. You did something wrong. Yeah. Not down here. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. Nabu? I'm going to find out eventually. Find out what? If you've done something wrong, I'm going to notice. I didn't do anything wrong. To you. Do I what? No, I said I didn't do anything wrong. To you. What, what, what did you do, though? So what did you do? Nothing. Come on. I'm not going to be angry. Disappointed. <laughs> Candy. I, I'll tell you stuff. I'll tell you a secret for a candy bar. Subscribe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> If not, you have to figure out the secrets. And she just runs upstairs. I follow her. It's like, we're not done, young lady. (laughs) Opens the bedroom door. Goes her like, you can't be in here for a long time. It's our bedroom. It's still a long time, just like Jeremy has. Uh, Ronya opens the door. Sitting on the bed, just like <laughs> I look around that something might be wrong here. 
I did nothing wrong to you. I reach out to Snorlax. <laughs> did she die the cat? Like cat walks in with a bow and around the tail and neck and a few other things. She's like <sighs> I tolerate it. You actually look kind of cute. Milk. You're like food intolerant, asshole. Milk's over at you. I'm not here. (laughs) I hear somebody. Milk, blood, meat. What? Milk, blood, or meat? This is a fucking fairy? Agreement. No blood, meat. Need it. Give it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I can also take the bow tie and everything off if you want. Yes. Yes. That would be uh, acceptable. I, I pick up Sonlax and, and take it off. And I walk over with the bow tie and put it on uh, Nabu. I tolerate it. Thank like- Nabu, don't agitate Snorlax, okay? He tolerates it, though. Yes. Tolerate. Yes. Because he didn't scratch my face off means he loves it. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I tolerate the young one. Come on, Snorlax. Feeding time. He didn't maul me, therefore he loves me. (laughs) And in terms of he asked blood, I assume I, I know what that means. Does he want to like some of my blood? Does he? Um... Um, so, you know, essentially that to uh, like familiars, they feed on quintessence. Mm-hmm. Uh, quintessence itself is uh, doesn't exist in a form that typically people can just touch. Uh, instead, yeah. it, uh, you, it consolidates into stuff called like Taz. That's a fancy term for quintessence that's physical. And often it comes in like blood, meat, milk, and stuff like that tends to have it in it. So when he's feeds and stuff, that's kind of what he's talking about. So it's just how they absorb quintessence that keeps them around. Uh, it does for it, quintessence can be in different forms as Taz, to uh, like depending on areas, but cats, you know, it just basically, yeah game thing for how you kind okay. of feed the cat the quintessence a week um how how do i put quintessence in milk uh generally you um like mechanically it's just you feeding him from your pool during the week kind of thing but you just like in game you just pour him some milk mix in a little bit of your blood and give him some okay. raw beef and he's no or raw meat mm-hmm. of some kind he's good do, do we, do we, does he need all three or uh, actually she it's a female cat uh, does she need all three or does she need um, does she need like only one of those she likes a little mixture she she likes it to be okay. mixed together like a soup a tasty 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 meat milk blood soup she looks up yep yeah I think the familiars can talk to anyone so yeah yeah she's she, she's gonna go down um, there are actually rules for creating a familiar in one of the books i gotta check out there's, there's probably already uh, a space somewhere where like a like a little like food thing is um and uh as she put like it's probably like just some old like discarded bowl she found somewhere and she's like you know what also like uh, now that we have a little bit more uh means you can have a nicer stuff maybe Get your scratching post or something like that. I would really appreciate if you don't like, you know, scratch everything up here. Also, especially since there's like still lead and asbestos like on the walls with the paint and everything. So it won't affect me. But okay. Okay. I'm stronger than lead. <clears throat> I pour like, some milk. 
is it, uh, familiars are creatures of uh, that they're not purely physical beings. They are spiritual beings in a physical form. So they are not in this game. They are not just smart animals. They are more than that. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, like, yes. Just in there but eating. You, like familiars are usually always more than smart animals. Um, depending on like games and stuff, sometimes they're just like an animal that's you know Unless elevated you're a bit. D and D, then they're not even like smart, and they're just normal animals for the rules. They really should get an intelligence of ten if you have a familiar. It's an animal. I feel like they do. No, they don't. I think Cats the can't rules... jump. Yeah, they just. Uh... Anyway. Yeah, um, I'm gonna feed him, her, feed her. Uh, mix in some of my blood. Uh, I think for meat, probably like some normal like cat food will do. Or do I need to uh, hunt down a chicken all the time? I like I prefer fresh, but fancy feast is fine. So it's fancy feast at the moment. Yes. You're still a cat. You can hunt if you want fresh food. You can find a bird or something. Well you're human you could go out and hunt deer with your hands doesn't mean you are no i'm not but if yeah. i wanted fresh deer i would need to hunt fresh deer i can't yeah. go into the supermarket and buy fresh deer i can go into the supermarket and buy a fancy feast yeah i can't buy I mean, anything if you go to the right supermarket you could <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> we have agreements. It's, it's, it's not. It's not the. It's not the uh, supermarkets that on there would ever have uh, <laughs> visited. So, we have listen. If I ever sacrifice a goat for something, you can definitely have something. Okay, chicken or whatever. Um, okay, a little excessive, but okay. I mean, you know, magic. I'm a Presbyterian. I think you're a couple letters off there. Maybe he's exactly not. Also, oh my Are God. you challenging my face? I just imagine Bonnie at some point actually getting a goat and then sacrificing it for some for some magic spell in the backyard. <laughs> Sacrifices are one of her practices. I don't. I. It, it would be something that she would use for like more powerful magic than she currently has access to. Um. But yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just got a weird email. All right. I um. I feed her a little bit. Uh, and then like pet her a little bit. Uh, behind the ears. It's like, okay. So I was just like, yep. Now I'm going to take a nap. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Want to wanna come with me while you take a nap? I'm good. All right. Yep. Also, for you stay at the counters. What? <laughs> I'll go where I please. Stay off the counters and tables, okay? Jumps on a chair at the table. Fuck you, I do what I want. Paul out on top of it. As long as you're not on it. I'm just imagining there's like <laughs> dogs that know they're not allowed to be on the table, but are big enough to just rest their chin on it. So like puts like the first half the body of her body on it, just like, huh? Slowly starts pulling the rest of her up onto the table. Mm. You want her to sleep. I'm challenging your authority now. I know. I I, I can I do grab both. Her. I, I grab her and um, just like carry her around. Ah, curse my cat strength. You're so cute when you're grumpy. Good thing I'm always grumpy. Uh, and I find I find a nice place for her. 
where she can like uh, lay down, sleep a little bit. Some kind of pillow or something. I'll have to move the pillow to the table later. Yes, you can plot your revenge and your great plans later. Ah. Ah, slice of life stories. So, when when? arguing with a cat. <laughs> yeah, just fixing uh, working on a car. Well, again, a little later, you uh, hear, uh, hear a voice like, hey, man. It's me again. What's up? It's Paul. You gotta put a fence on this place. I brought you a drink. Oh, okay. What is it? Well, you didn't see. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you like, so I have a um, mocha latte and I have a lemonade. Is it what time? Is it late in the afternoon? Yeah, it's about like one two. It, the character or... doesn't have to answer what time of day it is. I mean, I can. I'm wondering if it. It's later in the afternoon. I'll take the 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 red chocolatey one. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Just pulls up a little uh, folding chair. Yes, he's like. Phew. So, watching good shows? Mm, nope. No. Nope. Yeah, um. Been, yeah. There's a new show uh, uh about the Baltimore City Police. Have you been uh, on HBO? Uh, not interested in that. Oh. Is it fiction? No, it's it's, it's horror. A, it, it, no, no, it's based on real life events. So yeah, it's horror. Oh so, yeah, it's horror. probably fiction as well. Yeah. A, oh, have you have you seen uh, any of the Star Wars stuff on H on uh, Disney? Mm -mm. Mm. No. Well, watch anything? Not really. Well, you read a lot. Yeah, what mostly read? read. A lot of science journals, stuff like that. A lot of nonfiction. Mm. Nonfiction. So, yeah. not stuff like Jane Austen or like Fahrenheit 451 or anything like that, no? It sounds incredibly boring, depressing. Hobbit? No, I'm about 5'8. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Nah, nah. Um, oh, I did read uh one science book, uh, Cosmos by Carl Sagan. Read that a while back. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I also read a book about gravity from that uh guy, uh Stephen Hawkins, I think, whatever. I couldn't mm -hmm. put it down. Yeah, they're engrossing, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I read somewhere that he only put like one formula because he said because apparently the publisher said for every formula you put in, that's like ten thousand less sales in your book or something like that. You got to make accommodations for the for the masses. Yeah, that, that's pretty interesting. So you're really sciencey uh, from the sounds of it. I dabble. You dabble. I like to know how things fit together, how they work together. Oops. Ah, like your camera. Yeah. Um, it's a complex <laughs> system. It's not just lights going in tubes. So how do hey. magnets work? Uh, that's the secret. They never do. Woot woot. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Well. So what's wrong with the vehicle? Uh, well, a lot apparently, but yeah. it's just uh, it's old. It's well used. Mm. Just trying to what upkeep it a little bit. It's three vehicles meshed into one. Hard living. That's what happened. Right, trying to refurbish it so it can be used or sold again. You know, nothing goes to waste if you know what to do with it. Uh, that is true. I did go several years before I met my wife doing uh, living a um, uh, what's that called? A um, carbon neutral. Yeah, carbon neutral, sustainable style housing. Like I compost all the extra food and vegetables that I didn't finish you know put them in a composter I even create i bought one of those toilets that um fertilizes yeah that helps you with uh reusing your mm, emissions mm -hmm. yeah it's even all energy I, going in a big circle yeah even bought a micro house to live off the grid for a while didn't work out too well no it don't seem to be off of it now and oh, i met my wife and she's like we can't be doing this and i was like yep yeah, that that 
Yep. Well, she's got a stressful job. She needs outside of her work to be easier. Yep. Oh, yeah. We do yoga and stuff. Did, did you need a name for a new yo- uh, uh, closer yoga studio since you moved in? No, I'm in surprisingly, uh, well, good shape. You can't really tell, but. Well, you don't I'm really actually... have to. Yoga is more than just getting in shape. It's also for your mental uh, well-being, too. And you just it's a constant thing. I'll, I'll think about it. Have you ever thought about uh, doing a five-minute like car hacks for YouTube? Uh, no, I have not thought about that. I could admit. If you know a little, like do it yourselfers. You know, good uh, film them, get a little money on the side, like extra if money. Too many people knew how to do it themselves. They wouldn't come to my shop. Well, that's the secret. The stuff you put on YouTube, five-minute hacks, half the time don't work properly unless you're an expert to begin with. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't like that very much. Well, you can teach them. Yeah. Whatever. I, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. To each their know, own. That's what I always say. It's true. That's what I'm a boot. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, did you and your family want to come over for like a uh, cookout uh, next weekend? Uh, maybe. Maybe a good way to meet the people in the area. We've apparently only met two people, and you're the good one. Oh, good to know that I'm a good one. Yeah, it's just going to be me, my wife, a couple friends that we have from other neighborhoods. Um, do you do vegetarian and vegan or more meat? I'll eat anything. Right. I, I honestly don't know exactly how the rest of them deal with that. It hasn't come up yet. Well, we'll get a plenty of extras, and we even have two grills to stay kosher. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll let everybody know. Yeah, my wife's Jewish. Cool. I'm not. It was it's really cool. interesting meeting her family. Did you have like a double wedding? Mm, no, nah, we went with hers. Her family uh, is bigger. Mm, that's good. Yeah, we were just like, instead of paying extra for stuff, just go with a bigger family. It's better to do the bigger families thing for events. Yeah. Make it easier on everybody. Yeah. She has a lot of cousins. Yeah. That's nice. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, family's but, important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is just how I sound. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just next weekend, uh, we'll do it next Saturday. Uh, come around three. I'll get some alcohol. Does anyone in your fam- uh, household drink that you know of? You know, I'll just drink it. Just Most to- of them, actually, yes. Oh, they yeah. seem to like it a lot. Yeah. I've got a variety of different local beers get some um yeah we all like other drinks yeah um no crabs sorry uh, neither me and my wife like them um not a big crab fan i know baltimore maryland not big on crabs sacrilege i know but don't worry up. we can put old bay on stuff so it tastes just like crabs um i'm sure you'll have some people that are both positive and negative about that yeah, like there are people who put a bunch of old bay on corn and call it like poor man crabs because it tastes like crabs, but it's corn. Is that because people think crabs taste like old bay or because people only eat crab with old bay? So anything with old bay is crab. Because in Baltimore City, it's because they drown the shit out of the crabs with old bay. So that if you have old bay, you're instinctively thinking crabs. <sighs> I've never yeah. actually had old bay. You're lucky. That's why, yeah, I keep hearing that. People just <laughs> fighting words. It's basically just a bunch of weird spices mixed together. Is, They're no right, I guess that's what all things are. <laughs> that's now, if every we spice ever, rub. if we when we meet up with people, we will bring some old bay so everyone can taste it and understand the joy and or pain of old bay. I have a giant container of old bay now we'll in my buy, house. What we'll to buy the little ones? Yeah, the little tiny little, cute ones are little awesome. Little tiny ones from the grocery store. <laughs> they are awesome. Uh, I have both of the. I like literally bought like this size container because, of Old Bay. Because Maryland literally doesn't do anything low key. We our local grocery store literally has like a little kiosk at one end, 
that is nothing but Old Bay and the one right next to it is nothing but flag products. It's just the Maryland flag on every kind of feasible product you could imagine. Hats, socks, t-shirts, you name it. I just, I don't know, like the, the what I can't get past is just the name of Old Bay and like I, like, I cannot get out of my head that it's just like, you take like the water out of it the bay. It just tastes like yeah, the bay. no, you take the no, 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 no. It doesn't taste like the bay. You literally make it out of it. You take the water out of the bay, and the spice that you get is basically when you like all the water is like dried off and like what whatever like is not water. It's the gasoline left over. It's like, yeah, it's just, that's just like the, salty the, the garbage. Off, like it's all the stuff okay. that that, that your right. one garbage collector. There's no We can talk about the greater because... badness of Old Bay and. Mr. The tr- Trash, there's Mr. no Trash garbage Man. because Mr. Trashfield does his fucking job. Okay. We can get into this later uh, so that people at home watching this will not be subjected to our Old Bay commentary. I've never had it. I'm curious. It's really good. Would recommend. So, heard both the ways. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, this is nice. Yeah. So, we can you know, do some stuff. Uh, be a nice barbecue, bring stuff, get some briskets. Mm-hmm. So yeah, well, I'll make plans for it. Uh, let the family know and stuff, and see you uh, next Saturday. Like I said, two houses down. Um, mm-hmm. Points to it. Yeah, not next door. The door, uh, the door right. The one's back. So. Two got it. <laughs> yep. <coughs> well, I guess I'll leave you alone so you can finish. Just getting late. I was pretty much wrapping up here, but uh, do you smell an old Toldy's burger? Well, there was some cheeseburgers earlier. Yeah, there's some good food. I had them the other day. Normally, I'm not big on the uh, greasy food and stuff, but those burgers were banging. I can tell you it's the best tasting type of grease. Yeah. yeah there's a, I work with a lot of grease that does not taste good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I, yeah. I would guess that, yeah. I imagine he tried. <laughs> you got to you gotta know what you're working with to understand it. And I guess that uh, that would be interesting. We're working on a car and forget about it and you know, put your hand, you know, your fingers near your uh, mouth and mm, tasty. You only make the mistake a few times. Mm, yeah. Like when I was using that composter the wrong way uh, the, that one time. Mm. Uh, I don't want to ask. You turn the flame part on after you're done with it. <laughs> okay. Did you burn yeah. some hair you didn't want to burn? Yep, I was those things there. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they could use another one or two steps between some of those steps. Yeah, yeah, it was the first time using it. Like first time I used a propane grill. Woo, I uh, lost a little bit of my eyebrows there. <laughs> and that's well, why I went. That's why I started on charcoal. That's yeah, well, that gives a better smoky flavor. It even does. though it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get different types. Terrible thoughts. Paul is the kind of guy who invests into NFTs. He absolutely has one hundred percent. I think his wife would stop him after the first one. She she's oh, literally yeah, no, smart. He bought one, and she's like, "The fuck is this on the bank account?" And he explained it. She's like, "This is an MLM. Stop." You're a fucking yeah. idiot. What the hell are you doing? I make 95% of the income here. <laughs> She's like, I'm married an idiot. <laughs> oh, he probably he probably has like his own little credit card for fun stuff. Like a toy one. <laughs> I kind of love him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. No, honestly, <laughs> he's I'm I'm te- I'm worried now because Kevin has introduced two really good NPCs and one bad one. So now I'm waiting for the fucking bad ones. Well, these are just locals. I mean, they're not like, they're only probably going to be as part of the story as, I we, mean, as we make them. The prince was also a local for you guys, and how much of an asshole was he? Okay. The current Which prince. prince are we talking about? Does it matter? Oh, well, the current one's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, so he's like, see you then. Um, enjoy. Um, yep, yep. Great time here. All right. After he leaves, I'll put up all my tools, each in their place, and then head inside to let everyone know the good news. As you about to head inside, you do hear um, like uh, what appears to be uh, the sound of a camera, like phone camera going off a little. You just see this. Probably just the wind. 
Yeah, the, it, you, if you look behind you, there's uh, that um, the one woman just like. Uh, the I haven't seen this person yet. This is that other the, the Karen that we heard about earlier. We probably would have told you about her. Yeah. yeah. Can I help you, Miss? I'm fine. Mm. You seem upset or concerned. I'm just taking pictures. I don't consent to your pictures. This is public. Public's over there. This is private. There's no fence in circulating it. So since people can see it, it is considered public when it comes to picture taking in the state of Maryland because there is no uh, uh, there's no expectation of privacy when someone can just walk by and see it. That's how the yards work. Thank you very much. I know because some neighbors tried to sue me before for taking pictures of their yards. Well, it seems like you have no cause to complain about what you see if you're so free to see it. We'll see about that. I got my lawyers to talk to about this stuff. Lawyers, plural? Yes, I have more than one because I can afford it. Or is, are you sure it's not because they tell you to call somebody else? <laughs> no, it's because I can afford it because I, unlike some people, can afford things. It's definitely not because you got sued enough that you need multiple people to handle your caseload. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? Do you live here or your neighbor? Yes, I live here. I live on the other side of the street. And I noticed a lot of you. And as for what I do, I'm independently wealthy because my parents knew how to handle money like some people. So you don't do anything. I make sure the okay, neighborhood is on. safe and secure. If this woman's in her went... 40s and she's talking about her parents' wealth. Sounds about right. I was going to say, that sounds exactly right. Um, is this a dangerous nobody neighborhood? Nobody would complain if she went mysteriously missing like on a <laughs> long business trip or something, right? <laughs> but yeah, the neighborhood's safe because people like me keep it safe. Keep those who are not right for the neighborhood out. Poor people. I don't know. This place seems pretty expensive. I don't think there's many of those around. That's because we make sure that they don't come in. I think that's uh, the banks. No, that's called redlining. That's illegal. Redlining is when your car goes over the limit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hun. when you jump from third to fifth gear. Oh, hun. <laughs> as much as I hate the poorness coming off you, let's sit down and let's talk about redlining. It's a really serious issue that we used to have in the city long ago where we kept the black people away from the white people. There's a lot of words for that, and I haven't heard of Now redlining. we just keep the poor black people away from yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, we, it's no longer about black and white. It's just poor people can stay over there. But it's called redlining. Because... Is it because they put a red yarn string on the map? You got bugs in your neighborhood. I just killed a gnat. Why are you doing about that? Why do you think they call it Natty Bo? I don't know what that is. <laughs> no, but yeah. it's called a mocha something. It's a mocha something. <laughs> Heard of it? I'm holding up the coffee that guy gave me. Yeah, I, I have Starbucks. I can afford Starbucks. They're not that expensive. It really feels like she can't afford Starbucks because she keeps having to point out the fact that she can afford these things. Yeah. My. I, 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 go read a book about redlining. It, it can't believe sounds like a made up thing that rich people use to stay rich. Sort of, yes, uh, but it's more about uh, rich white people and poor black people. Okay, they're still facing the effect of it. You can actually look at the city of Baltimore and uh, where the neighborhoods are and where good transit and everything is and kind of see the old lines where redlining used to be is this still the lady talking or is this you talking a little of both uh, redlining is a very serious it uh, was a serious issue in baltimore city a long time ago and it's a um the effects of it still are affecting the city oh, and good. it's it's a thing that we as a city are working on for the last several decades and hopefully one day we can put that totally behind us but not yet what is your name again my name 
Yeah, it's like Marin or Jaren. What was Can it? Give her name yet? No. No, we've just been calling oh. her Karen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My name is Kathy with a K. Heck. Like the cartoon. I don't watch cartoons. Those are for children. Cartoon can refer to also comic strips in a newspaper. You know the newspaper? You read it? Yes, okay. I've read the paper. Mm. He's too rich to have ever read the, the things. That's for the poor people. I get the Wall Street Journal, the superior newspaper. That's for people that like are good with money and are rich. It sounds like your parents were good with money and you're just using it. Like a dog that gets fed nice food. <gasps> Did you just call me a bitch? You said that word. I said, like a dog. That's a simile. You call me a bitch. I can't believe it. I'm out of here. I can't, I'm not going to take this from a grease monkey. Is that all it takes? <laughs> He's like, God damn, I should have said that earlier. I'll, I'll inform the council. He like, walks away, <laughs> walks back, <laughs> walks back real quick, <laughs> take a picture, and walks away. I take an after picture when I'm done with it so I can get some business. I yell after her. Council. <laughs> I'm going to go inside. The I'm council will hear sound. of this. As you go inside, uh, Naboo runs up to you. Master? <laughs> Who runs up to me? Nabu. she's just like... It's like Grease, but it's different Grease. Yeah, it's that lady from across the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you in for the night? Yeah. Okay. Your you ex home is going to be running nice and smooth real soon. Ooh, it hasn't run in a while. It'll oh, be good as new. Also, hey, Quan, thank you for doing this. It, uh, I mean, I can't really do anything with a car, but like you're free to do. But, like, I mean, we don't really need it anymore. It's just if you want, nice. you can sell it when it's done and use that to, you know, get some <clears throat> whatever people buy buy things for with. I One know, time maybe to get I'll it. run this neighbor over with a new car. Oh yeah, she'll probably oh. look at it. She'll probably stand still to look closely at it if it's a nice car. Okay, we should cause... probably not run the neighbors over, even though she is a gigantic bitch. Yeah, if you if you call her that, she'll just leave. Good oh, that's to, good know. to know. But her that real name is like is. Uh, Hanya actually uh, looks to uh, Nabu, you're allowed to call um, this one neighbor. You're allowed to call her a bitch if that makes a leave. One exception. But just her. Just her. And you were right about her. She is just uh, useless old money with no skills or interests. <clears throat> yeah. Bitch. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll show her. Bitch, 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 bitch. And she just starts walking away. <laughs> <laughs> she was also taking a lot of pictures. Said she had lawyers. Yeah, she... She's probably one of those people that thinks we have an HOA when we fucking don't. Um, and I don't know if she like, can make trouble, I'm, but she's going to try, I'm sure. She's probably just going to be annoying. What's new? I mean, like, I can't imagine any lawyer that would actually take up anything from this lady. Like, we've not done anything illegal. If she's rich enough, she could cause some red tape troubles, which I've had a problem with in the past, but nothing that will be, I think, probably nothing will be done for real except troublesome nonsense. I mean, the worst it would be would be some, like, civil lawsuits, which are annoying, but, I mean... If it absolutely comes to it and she does actually try to take us to court, I have done that before. It Once Torque sets up some security cameras, we can have evidence that we've oh, done nothing. Yeah, that's right. Um, He's still working on it. Yeah, we're doing the electric I can get the, electrical uh, system first. I, I'd rather not have security cameras like inside, you know. Well, not inside. Oh, they'd no, be, not inside. Why would you have any inside? Be facing outside. And we could have it set up so as soon as Kathy comes around, it'll like set off alarms and beep and stuff. Yeah, I can at least set up like a, a ring cam. Those don't, I don't think those require What's the electricity. Word? Do they? They do, yeah. Oh, dang. Um, we could you, got like a generator. You wire them into your house. Talk, talking, about ni talking about nice, I think you mentioned the, the, the like a little party like over with our nice neighbor, Paul. 
Um, yeah, next weekend, Paul's having a big party for neighbors. Yeah, but hmm. should, should maybe someone stay here? I mean, we're supposed to protect this note, so. I mean, we can't expect to be here at all times. There are going to be times when we're going to have to leave. Yeah, we have our it, normal lives to deal with sometimes. Yeah, he's only, everything he's should... two doors down, so someone we could yeah. go there, one person goes, and it just rotate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll hear if something goes wrong. <clears throat> I mean, will we? Yeah, by then we can have our, our system set up a little bit and yeah. have everything locked down with like alarms turned on and stuff. It wouldn't be out of character for this house to have a security system. Um, does sure. anyone has checked for ghosts yet? Checked for ghosts. Looked for them or maybe I, mean, them... I don't know. We Maybe the house is Honda, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, the guy who... I mean... Because it was here before. Exactly my specialty. I mean, I can there... see them, but maybe someone else can. Like, I have something to see them. Should we not talk too much about this in front of Nabu, or does she know what's going on? Nabu knows what's going on. Okay. Well, the previous owner... I don't know shit. Like she, she knows that. Okay. Vanya has like weird stuff. She Adult stuff specifics. is boring to kids. It makes sense that she'd pay attention to <clears throat> toys and candy more. I mean, also, I think. Children are much more willingly to accept magic stuff happening. That's true. Just accepting it as normal. I know like, nothing it is. about anything. Uh, because simply put, I I just uh, to to like uh, emphasize. There, what? You're doing. what? The dog just oh, just like walking very <clears throat> sus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I I'm, I mean, you can look around, maybe. I think you're something I, a bug. I, I find a ghost, and... Ghost! I mean... Is that a ghost talking? No. Honestly, I, I don't really see much of an issue there, as long as... Like, even if the ghost of the previous owner is still around, I don't think he has any ill intent towards us, so... He killed him. He sacrificed fine. himself to set yeah. up the defenses and things, yeah. so yeah. he would yeah. have only no. positive intent. Yeah, last was... week it was established that that guy would not be a ghost because of the yeah. way the sacrifice for the right. note works. Just I mean, this is an old house. Who knows what else is spooking around here? I mean... There's that secret place in the basement we can't get into. I'm sorry, what now? Ooh. What? Do you get candy? Yeah. I do have a grocery delivery coming. I got gummy worms. That doesn't have candy, but Sour? does have ice cream. Well, no, the regular. Well, not quite as good. Well, you know, if you get too much sour, it'll dissolve the roof of your mouth, and then when you eat pizza, it'll be worse for you. Got a plan really? ahead? Yeah. It'll dissolve the roof of my mouth? Dear, it, don't not in a good it. way, in a bad it's way. A if you eat too bit. much. Okay, but what about this? This I can feed it to Jeremy in the basement that we can't access. Oh, yeah, what's in the basement? I'm not allowed in the basement. I didn't even know this building had a basement. I did I'm not allowed in there. She asked me if she could go down there. Yeah, gonna check out the basement. Let's go We're not allowed down there. The come with. Okay, you're not allowed down there. We're Could you describe where the secret the place building. is that you haven't been to for definitely haven't been to? Amalia said that no one is allowed in the basement. I'm sorry, who? I marry this. My Mary Cyrus. Oh, okay. Fatal. <laughs> <laughs> I thought when this is... child was talking to like some ghost or something and it named mm. it, but no, it was just her absolute fucking Lily butchering. I mean, honestly, that, that wouldn't be the most surprising thing. Like, everyone's like, oh, it's the ghosts here, and like, she's in the meantime is like, yeah, yeah, no, I totally made oh, friends Oh, yeah, my friend Charlie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. White people have strange names, hard to pronounce. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> you are not allowed in the basement. I'm I am going to the basement, Kevin. No, we'll make sure it's safe for you. Can I come? We we'll have to make Why sure it's safe. Sure, you can come. Yes, it's, it's probably safe. Uh, did we want to help? Uh, help her down, basement. Someone get, grab, someone grab the front. Someone grab the back. Oh, I know. We can put a. You can put a, a mattress at the bottom. It's just woo. Down I don't like want to go to the hospital. Idea. I think mattresses should 
usually not be moved around as much as you seem to think they should be. They, they're safe. You land on a mattress and you're safe. Wait, would, would forces two be enough to telekinesis her down? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Steph? What? Would forces two be enough to telekinesis her down the stairs? If you can somehow work it into a lot of your paradigm stuff, potentially, but you also run the risk of some vulgar shit there. Oh, absolutely. It's vulgar. <laughs> Yes. Oh, wait. Actually, it might not be, since she's pretty strong. She could basically, like, use forces in combine, uh, com combination with her own strength to just, like, carry her whole side. <laughs> that would be possible. I was going to say, considering how, how, point, how I've described... Just be throwing her down the stairs? Oh, you could just, like... I'm gonna just going to say this. Emerald is not big. She's rather small. Your character is oh. strong. You just said it. Hera, yeah. I'm going to still find a way to jam magic and do everything. <laughs> Oh. oh, you could uh, you could like pop a willy and go down the edge. You could grind the edge down like the skateboarders. I'm just heading <sighs> down into the basement. Yeah, I'm walking. They can they can figure that. Out. I'm gonna go down. Actually, the hallway. Amaryllis, do you even want to go down into the basement? I mean, everyone seems all excited about it, so might as well. All right, I'm. If it's okay with you, I can carry you down the stairs. And all if right. it's vital, we'll figure something out. What's your strength? Four? Three? Twelve? Three. Three. Uh, let me just double check. Come to the book that's enough for 250 pounds, I believe. How fat is uh, your character, Vex? She is not. She is, like, tiny. A slender DJ build. Mm -hmm. She has been on the computer for a bunch of time, build. So like that character from... Are they fat with a neck beard? What? No, like, <laughs> like video, like you know, like Persona one. Five, the character from Persona Five. Which one? The one who's on the Taba. computer all the time. Okay. I I've never seen her played Persona Five, and I can't remember their name either. Futaba. Joker. Yeah, Futaba. Oh, Futaba. She's slender and petite, and also a teenager, but they all are. As you, uh, as someone else would need, to, would need to take the chair because. Uh... I could take the chair. It's a machine. As you go down, um, Nebu starts singing the theme to the bodyguard. Um, oh, bodyguard. that has a lot of uh, Melissa. I thought she was about to hum like the Ghostbusters theme or something like that. Isn't that kind of an old movie for her to know? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of old movies that you watch at the library when mm -hmm. you are bored. It's like, yeah. Um, I'll never question her knowledge I mean, of movies. I mean, so is TV. Bodyguard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bodyguard's newer than Ghostbusters. Well, it depends what Ghostbusters, but yeah. So you make it down to a basement level. Everybody's like, yeah, I'm in the basement. So so actually, uh, Amarillo, how do, how do you want to be carried? How is, that is better question. How is Rania going to carry her? That's the better question. Be honest, Sarah. Luke and Yoda. I mean, she she can yeah she she can do like the the, the Luke and Yoda on uh, like over over the back thing. She can like do the the, the uh, fireman carry handle thing. I feel like the fireman like the carry bride, going the down the stairs carry. is a bad idea. Or she can do the bridal carry. It's all that's possible. up to you, Hera. She could a zip line. <laughs> then she could just slide down above the stairs. Turn the goddamn AC on. It's so fucking hot right now. It's hot in here too, and it's. And like it's not even like that normal hot, like it's like that like gross sticking around hot. Okay, she's she's gonna bridal carry it on because it's easier to like set you down in your chair again that way. There. That's probably the easiest. And it's also not like as I don't know, like humiliating <laughs> the fireman handle carry thing all the shoulder. <laughs> it just <laughs> also less likely to injure somebody. Yeah. Somebody being me. <laughs> So what's in the basement? As you all go down, roll me. All right, dice uh, time. Awareness and wits. Ooh. Ooh, awareness. 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 Oh, that's good for me. Awareness. And uh, was... six plus. Awareness and wits. Four successes. 
four, four, four rolls for me. Two successes. Nine and an eight. And no ones. Two successes. Where the fuck is my tab? I'm trying <laughs> to find the right... Ah, fucking Christ. Hmm. Did you just roll ghost check? It's calling a ghost check. Yeah, you could you could rename the action. <laughs> so I renamed it ghost check. <laughs> you find it looks like you found two ghosts. So how many success did one get? I'm trying to figure out how do you do the dice pool thing. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, this is yeah. wits and awareness. I wasn't sure how it works, so I, st- I got my physical dice. Yeah. Let's get physical. Physical. I'm going to make Nabu jealous by eating this sour gummy. All right. So, Amaryllis and Q, um, as you're walking down, and, you know, or being carried down in one case, but as you get down, and everyone's settled, and you're like, yeah, let's check out the basement. The two of you remember there was no basement when you first got in here. Wait that, a minute. You're not going to believe all this. All the plans and everything, there should not be a basement in this building. <laughs> well, this is weird. Yeah, there's <laughs> secret. Maybe it's, know, like, it's just this. like a regular basement. How did there was no one of them know to like forbid Nabu to go down to the. Basement. Probably just said, like, just. <laughs> Just don't go into the basement, assuming there's a basement kind of thing. I like, guess that's a safe assumption. There was no basement listed on the uh, on the room list or the blueprints. Yeah. What if this is like a yeah. secret thing for where they used to transport like illegal things back when things were illegal? Ah, My Little Ponies. Yeah, the the My Little Pony uh, tunnels. <laughs> the My Little Pony. Pony Ponybition. <laughs> yeah, Ponybition. Po- the Great Pony <laughs> Wars between uh. Scarlet Skylight and Rainbow Sprinkles. We all know which the right side of that war. Hmm. So tell us what we see. In some areas, sprinklers are called jimmies. I disagree with yeah. that. What's this basement look like, Kevin? Yeah, that's a bunch of different things where I'm from. Yes, sprinklers and jimmies. As you look around at the basement, that's where we'll be stopping this week. Ah, um, nice. Wow. Secret basement. Secret tunnel. All right. Literally. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us for this session of Trenchy Houses of Baltimore. Um, Yeah. This is hopefully next week. uh, Next time you see this, we will be discovering what's in the sacred basement, which would be interesting. Um, And we. Crypt Kathy's real body. Next oh. week, next week the basement's gone again. There's no upstairs <laughs> next time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. There's just like no upstairs, and we, would, we walk upstairs, and we're just in a cave. Ah, uh, no, players. there's just no upstairs. We're just like you can like you go up the stairs. There's leave. no door. We're in the basement again. We're in cool. the basement. So yeah. So thank you for joining us. Um, let's see. Um, again, I'm not sure when this is going to really be put up so i'm going to forgo no more announcements and just check out the doobly do for any kind of for everyone's channels and games that are on their channels um the various things uh so check that out um continue watching this um hopefully by the time you're watching this episode you will also be watching our new power rangers insect Knights series we also have baltimore by night on here as well as dishonored hopefully that gets back into rotation we've been missing a couple of those games because of life yeah. wah, wah. finds a way yeah um so yeah check it out um yeah the uh power rangers and sick nights will be on the opposing week of this so if you're watching this as it's premiered the following week should be the power rangers um and then mondays is vampire the masquerade baltimore by night and dishonored continue to check those out uh, if you like it, please like and subscribe because I'm shilling out like a good old YouTuber. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, let's see. Trying to think of a good outro. Uh, um, Click those ones. No!
Pinky. Oh. Swish and yeah, it's uh, it doesn't use a wand. Swish. Oh yeah, swans. Um, so uh, 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 swish and flick. Uh, Wish and flick. <laughs> um, but yeah, just thank you for joining us. Um, and hope you had a really good time and continue joining us for when we actually develop a decent outro. Uh, <laughs> so, so Kev, Kev, you don't want to say that because then they're never going to join time. us. Keep watching to see what the outro will become. Mystery. Mysteries. All right. Thank you and um bye. bye. bye.